Using version control in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad is a great way to make sure that if you're making changes and you make a mistake, you can go back to a previous version. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use version control here in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, when I'm using GarageBand, I get a lot of questions from people saying, why do you have version one, version two, version three, all of these different version numbers after your GarageBand projects? And I do that because GarageBand itself doesn't have a great way of tracking your different versions. So when I'm actually editing or mixing or doing something in a track, I wanna make sure that if I'm making a major change and I don't like it, I can go back to a pre previous version. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video is how I use version control to make sure that I can go to my previous versions if I make a mistake. Let's jump in now and take a look. Now this is going to be a quick video because it's actually a very simple process that I use. When you're in GarageBand here, you can see that I've got a project I'm working on at the moment called Things Change and I've got Things Change V6. Now yes, there has been Things Change V1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I've just actually deleted them because to save on space, I do delete these as I go along. But if you've got plenty of space, you can keep them all. But all I'm talking about doing here is duplicating and renaming this project. So I'm about to jump in and start doing my final mix. So I've got my basic rough mix here and I'm going to do my final mix. Now before I do that, I don't want to start playing around with this on this particular version of the track because if I do something that I really don't like, I want to be able to revert back and GarageBand doesn't let you do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to tap select in the top right here and then we're going to tap on the project file here. Now down the bottom, you've got these four blue options. We're going to tap duplicate and this is going to make a duplicate copy. Now by default, it calls it things change v6 2. And if you just use that method, it's just going to go 2, 3, 4, etc. You can just use that. But I like to come in here by just tapping on the name there and deleting that one tapping my number button down the bottom left and hitting a seven and going done. Now you can use things like final mix, very final mix, master version, whatever. I tend to find I get confused with that. And then I'm like, I put, I call something final mix and then I make another tweak and I've got another version. So I just go with numbers, the highest number wins. So all I need to do now is actually tap on this one to open up things change version seven. I can now come in here and do all of my mixing and all of my changes here without any fear that any change I make here, I won't be able to go back. If I add a new instrument or if I do something really wacky with an EQ and it sounds terrible, all I need to do is go back to my songs and then all I would do is delete this one by going select, tap on that and tap delete and then go back to things change version six and do the same again. Tap it, duplicate it and then rename it to version seven. So this is my version control technique. Yes, it's very simple and straightforward. It would be good if GarageBand had an automatic save function that lets you do something like this, but because it doesn't, you need to be a little bit vigilant. So wherever you save it, however you're actually using GarageBand, this is just a great way to make sure that you're covered if you're making changes and you can always go back. So there you go, a very simple approach, but something that could save your bacon if you make some major changes. We've got two more videos linked down below here. You can also go to studiolivetoday.com to check out some more videos and subscribe to my mailing list where you'll keep up to date with all the latest information. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.